Here he is. Good morning. Here we are. The Dolphin Centre. Right on the banks of the Thames, which is looking pretty high in Pangbourne. And uh, we've come out today just for the night. We're going to temp, uh, camp on an island about six miles up the river. And uh, we've brought our inflatable canoe with us. So we're going to get set up and uh, hopefully have good weather. Lucy, and what a, what a beautiful day. And then comes the water. Food going up already, love. Can you feel that? Yeah, it will. It's on a mooring. There we go. It's going up, Marley. Quiet engine on that, isn't there? Oh, we've got some ducks taking a lift, look, 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 yeah, look. Whitchurch lock. There we go, lock's open. You know, ducks are making a run for it, look, they know. They're used to taking this, aren't they? Onwards. Big heron on the bank. Just had a kingfisher fly across. Beautiful. Other people enjoying the river and some very rich houses. You right, Marley? That's where we came from. Noisy geese. Quite choppy today. Look at that. Well, oh, the water's really flowing through here. You can see it. All right, onwards. Oh, there's Lucy in the boat. doing about six and a half to seven. I don't know if you can see this on the camera. Look at the speed of the Thames. We've, uh, it's a red flag warning or a red, red marker warning all the way along. Um, the water level's quite high. And the one thing these inflatable canoes do, and they do not do well, is cut through moving water. They, um, they don't sit on it. They don't cut through it, they sit in it. Um, you cannot, uh, back there, there's the bridge there. It must have taken us five minutes to get through that bridge, literally. It's only 40 foot wide. So uh, we're going to make a decision in a minute. Well, we just found this old, lovely old beaten up building. And someone's actually in there, we think, working. But I might just pitch here if we haven't done as far as we think, because this is killing us. given up paddling we got about four miles we still had about three to go we were doing about half a mile an hour because the water's flowing just too quickly so we are staying here for the night it's a derelict mansion it's got security here but i doubt they'll be here tonight if they are they can kick us off can't they but uh it's all sealed up
spot the spot. Right, we've uh, moved along the river a bit because we found this little spot here which is lovely and flat good little bit of firewood around the base of this tree and in those trees over there and it's lovely and peaceful no one looking perfect so we're gonna we're gonna set up camp and we'll get back right we've set up camp there's our camp a mess as usual I'm just gathering some firewood. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dig a little fire pit here and use the coals to do some burgers later on. Canoes over there. There's our mansion. Yeah. And as ever, Marley. I'm not throwing your. Oh, all right, here you go. All right. Let's get some firewood. Plug a little fire pit. I'm gonna get some get some fire going on here, get some hot coals, move them over there, grill over the top, burgers. Perfect. Alright, fire going, get some coals moved over, get the burgers on. Mm. Right, there's our cooker. Coals are just about ready, lovely white, bright, hot. We'll get the burgers on. Have some dinner. We'll have to watch them. Yeah, it's a sure fire. Yeah. Burgers, good old camping dinner. Well, the rain came, so luckily we put the tarp up. Good job I bought it. I wasn't gonna. A bit of a bodge tied to some trees. Fire's going lovely. Yeah, we're a bottle of wine down, so we're fine. There's been some kids running around the abandoned manor house. Manor house, luxury house. Yeah, it's all good. Very nice, very mellow. Oh my God, it's Quasimodo. <laughs> right. It's a bit good in the in the canoe. I could put Marley under it next time. It would be brilliant in the canoe actually.
beautiful, look at those. Stay. Spooky. Spooky. Oh, that's an annoying song, isn't it? Good morning. Well, that was the best night's sleep I've had in a tent for years. That was 10, 10 hours flat out. I slept from 11 o'clock till nine o'clock in the morning, virtually. Well, it's nearly nine o'clock. The river's risen again and it's flowing quick today. It rained all night, but we were okay. We had the tarp, the fire did well. So yeah, Lucy's just gone for a walk around the manor. Beautiful dawn chorus this morning, my goodness. Apart from the geese. Yeah, so we'll cook some breakfast and get packed up and head back down the river. Alright, we're all packed up. That's where we camped over there. Okay. I'm ready. Do you want to get his ball? Well, yeah, okay. It's just here. Oh no, I'm just guiding you in with my arm. I can't go any further. Well done. Do not drop it in the water, maybe. Okay. Alright. I'm sort of stuck here, I can't do a lot. <laughs> okay. Hang on. I'm going to have to turn the camera off. And we're off. Oh, it's flowing better. Right. right. That's where we camped, in there. Just in there. And we'll only be an hour getting back now because of the flow. <laughs> Flying under the bridge? No, I flew over it. Look how fast it is through here. Stay, Marley, stay. Good boy. Echo! Yeah, looks like it. Beautiful places along here. Lovely way to spend the morning, eh? Stuck 
straight at that. Right, there's some weirs coming up here, so we want to stay to the left. Oh, there's a pub. <laughs> On and out you get Marley, good boy. A little portage, 100 metres and we'll be back by the car. This is a lot that we came through first of all yesterday. You okay? Yeah. Are you alright? Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Here we are back where we started. There you go, do you want to get out? Out. Good boy. There you go.